We've been reined in for a day and a half. We managed to move probably not even a mile. <laughs> mm, about a mile up to Lapworth Junction. Train. Where well, there's a train bridge directly across the canal. Which we're moored pretty much under. We were moored at Tom of the Woods and um, it was nice enough but we kind of got itchy feet and we're ready to go on a longer cruise. So we just decided to have a bit of a change of scenery and we came up to Kingswood Junction and we're moored on the Lapworth Link which is by Lapworth Junction. So it's basically the Grand Union Canal and the Stratford Canal come within 100 metres of each other and this is the little bit of canal that links them. So we're going from the southerly part of the Grand Union to the northerly part of the Stratford. Stratford. It's a funny little junction because this cut comes across and then there's sort of three you know sort of three locks in a little triangular yeah. pattern one of which is is uh, disabled right now so we can't actually go around it and therefore cover the entire waterway. But we will be coming back this way so to, disappointed. to go from the southern Stratford to the northern Grand Union. So yeah we'll be doing the, the other. We'll be crossing because at the moment we're crossing this way and we'll be coming back to cross that way. Yeah. So, yeah. so today 20 plus locks the Lapworth locks. Yeah. Um, this is why we kind of got stuck because we could have moved yesterday if it had just been a few locks, but we didn't fancy doing 20 locks in the torrential rain. Yeah, and, and even with the amount of experience we've got on boats, 20 locks in a flight doesn't constitute a few. <laughs> so, there were people moving yesterday and they all looked thoroughly miserable. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, because like these are these are all older locks yeah. and they're, they're, they're all narrow locks. They're all kind of in famously more ratty shape. Um, yeah, the southern Stratford is famously narrow, narrower than normal narrow locks, so boats kind of can get stuck in there, so that'll be fun when we do that bit. Yeah. But I really like it here. I'm glad we moved to this mooring. Like, one, there's all the facilities, like Elsan, and there's a shower, shower. <laughs> and um, rubbish point. But also, it's just, it feels like really oldy canally. Mm -hmm. And all the... Um, all the locks have got like little information boards on. There's bridges that go over the locks with a slot through for the um, the horse's rope that used to tow mm. the canal. So. And quite a few of them have this little hand cranked kind of speaker thing. Oh yeah. They're a little bit more on the Grand Union, but I've seen you know. But, but basically information. You, you rotate it and it starts speaking to you. <laughs> um, so it's just I like I don't know like if I like somewhere in the rain I really like it, and I've just got like a really nice feeling about being here. Yeah. So. And there's a little village shop not far by. It was uh, for essentials. Not exactly uh, easy to stock up, but but a nice place to spend some time. We're pushing on towards Kings Norton. I'm not sure we'll get quite that far today. Um, I think we'll probably get to the top of the locks and just be like, we're done. <laughs> um, and we and there's shops up there at the top of the locks too. Is there? Yeah, I think so. I don't think there is. Just just past. And that village. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. a little bit past. That's past the boatyard where we might need to stop and get coal and diesel. Right. Okay. But anyway. <clears throat> should we go? Yeah, we should go. You ready, George? George is prepared. Are you ready, George? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna go get his ball so he can't lose it again.
the Lapworth flight done. Uh, still four more to go, but the ones that are close together, the nine locks um, right there, they're finished. So a bit of a breather, four more locks, short distance from each other, and then on to a um, small town named Hockley Heath. flights and we had volunteer lock keepers we were very lucky because there's only two on and they helped us most of the way up um, and one of them told us about a bakery and the directions were a bit vague but he said don't worry you'll see the bridge with the sign and we waited and we waited and we didn't see a bridge so I made what did I make for lunch oh veggie burgers Veg well yeah not hamburgers <laughs> the opposite of hamburgers. corn burgers veggie burgers and then 20 minutes later we found the bridge so we're going to the bakery anyway yeah. so. it's 100 meters that way Sliced bread, uh, vegetarian pasty, and miscellaneous sweets. Except for it's it's stuck. Yeah. Now I'm losing my grip on. We're in the outskirts skirts of Birmingham. Birmingham. We're in the Birminghams. Birminghams. Birmingham. The suburbs of Birmingham. So we've come up the Stratford Canal from Lapwood Junction to Bridge Five, <laughs> um, about two and a half miles short of Kings Norton. Mm -hmm. We just decided it was too far to go all the way in one day, and there's a distinct lack of supermarkets around here. But there's a co-op by Bridge Five and a chip shop. So and the McDonald's. No, we don't stop the McDonald's. We don't eat McDonald's. <laughs> but I, but I was informed that there's a McDonald's. Because there's a big red sign up there with a big yellow M on uh, it. So we had a good day. The locks went fairly smooth with the. Yeah, we were so lucky. A number of boats going up and down. But we were the ones with the volunteers. Yeah. Yeah, which was good. We 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 kind of flew up the locks and went way faster than I thought it would. Yeah. And um, they were heavy and hard, mm -hmm. and they were set against us because there was a boat going up above us, like like literally one like lock right above in us. front of us. Um, so we were quite unlucky in that sense. But then the lock keepers were. And it was you that was driving a portion of it, so I felt like I get to run back and forth. I was basically like, I get exercise. <laughs> Yay! The only reason we swapped is because um, we were waiting for a boat to come down and that boat was 70 foot long and the pound was incredibly short and bendy so I thought oh I'll just go and sit on the um, lock landing and they can come out but because of the bend I would have been in their way what we had to do is go and hover over in the middle of the pound which would have been fine as well except there was this big overflow and water was like absolutely shooting over it yeah. and pushing the boat around so I swapped and then we didn't sort back after that yeah until the top but that was only the last couple of locks and then we got to some uh, lift bridges or uh, what do they call them here drawbridges Draw bridges. <laughs> sounds like you're going into a castle <laughs> yeah and they were 
pretty bloody heavy actually the first well, not, two not well not not her I just yeah. got to push a button. She, she got the push button and that was kind of nice it went from rural kind of wooded canal to, to very suddenly sort of suburbia suburbia yeah, yeah. like this great big housing complex or something that looks kind of like an old industrial building but it's new but it, yeah like all the brickwork looks brand new and everything and then there's suddenly all these houses backing on to the canal yeah mm -hmm. and some very strange things floating in the canal today a wooden toy of a, of a pirate ship that looked like it was like a hand carved sort of kids toy made by somebody with some care but but it ended up in the water quite a few rodents of unusual size we saw a live rodent running along the side yeah most of the ones i've seen have been dead and a series of coconuts again. <laughs> and it's a really nice canal. So this is the first day we've ever been on the Stratford Canal. And um, apparently at some point there was some plans to make it into a wide canal, even though it's a narrow canal. So all the brick bridges are really big and wide and it's just nice. Yes. And then we pass through the last one and it's this great big brick bridge and it's quite tall and everything. And then there's these signs facing the other direction that say, um, <laughs> warning, you know, headroom 2.3 meters. And I'm looking back, I'm pretty sure there's at least four. And also what narrowboat has less than 2.3 meters headroom anyway? Well, there might be some, I suppose, but especially with all the stuff that people put on top of the road. We didn't manage to get diesel. The no. first place we should have stopped. We didn't, and then the second place wasn't open, so yeah. <laughs> it was a yeah. bit silly. But there's another boatyard up here, and then there's one after the turning, so. And we've got enough to make it to the turning and down yeah. a ways. I just I want to get it topped up. A really good day, yeah. really nice day, really long day. Long day. Do good you day like day. these autumn cruises? I know it's kind of like, feels like winter's coming and it's a little bit cold, but I don't know. Yeah, just, there's no white walkers yet. <laughs> just seeing the changing colors of the season and yeah, I mean, I... I mean, I, I wish there was less leaves in, this, in the canal, but... But, like, I find it really neat to look at the trees and see how many different shades of green there are. And brown. And then and orange, these and little places of, like, really vibrant, fiery reds mm. and stuff, yeah. yeah and um, there's much less boats, like... I, oh, yeah. I really... Like, yeah, I do like... like no traffic. I do like other boats, and I do like talking to people on other boats, but I do like the fact that there is less traffic and you get some moorings and they're just empty yeah it's just easier isn't it hopefully on to king's norton tomorrow and and then south yes on the i'm trying to remember the name birmingham and worcester. is it the worcester and birmingham or birmingham and worcester i think it's birmingham and worcester the stockton lots were a warm-up for the hatton flight the hatton flight was a warm-up for the lapworth the lapworth is a warm-up for tardy big, tardy big. <laughs> somebody was telling me about them today Oh, really? Yeah, it didn't sound good. He didn't say the problem was how many. It was that they were very hard to move. So That's going to be a long, heavy day. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Like, click the bell, comment, subscribe, and uh, see you next prepare time. for the bloopers. And see you next time. <laughs>